Welcome XR Developers! In today's video we're going to install and set up Unity's amazing cross-platform template that works for MetaQuest, HoloLens 2 as well as Magic Leap 2. The new Mixed Reality template includes features like plane detection, pass-through, simple interactables, spatial UI, enhanced and controllable presence to help you get started. Let me know if you enjoy this type of content. If you want to support me, please check out my Patreon or simply subscribe to this channel. Now, let's get started. To get started, we need a MetaQuest device and we need to install Unity version 2022.3.11 or later. Let's get the latest Unity version inside our Unity Hub and definitely make sure you include the Android modules to run the app later on your device. Now, there are actually two ways on how to set up the cross-platform mixed reality template. The first way is to simply create a new project and download the mixed reality sample. Our project will now be created and not only comes pre-configured but also contains various prefabs and custom scripts. Once we open the newly created project with the template, we can see that we are greeted by a dialogue window which takes us to the quick start guide. You can also find the link in the description. You can read this guide to get a better understanding of what is included in this setup and what are the current limitations. Before we continue with the setup, let's check the second way of setting up the template. We can simply use an existing project. However, the project needs to be on Unity version 2022.3.11 or later, so make sure to upgrade it before. Then we open the package manager. Here we can simply add the package by name. Type in com.unity.xr.meta-openxr and download it. Once downloaded, it will automatically bring in dependencies like the OpenXR plugin and AR Foundation. Keep in mind, however, that you will have to set up the rest by yourself, such as configuring the XR plugin management and installing the XR Interaction Toolkit as well as XR hands. Also, you won't have any of the prefabs or sample scenes in your project at the time of recording. Going back to our template project, we take a closer look at the setup that is provided to us from Unity. The best part is, the project already comes fully configured with OpenXR, AR Foundation, XR hands, and the XR Interaction Toolkit. If we open the package manager, we can see that all these packages are installed. Next, if we open the project settings and go down to the XR plugin management, we can see how our project is configured and that we are using the OpenXR plugin as well as several AR foundation and hand tracking feature groups. Lastly, if you are interested in the exact recommended graphics and rendering settings by Unity for the MetaQuest, feel free to take a look at the project configuration folder. The performance settings are for MetaQuest 2 and the balanced settings are for MetaQuest 3 and Pro, so feel free to go to your project settings in the quality as well as the graphics tab and change your settings accordingly. The only thing we have to set up ourselves is to switch over to the Android platform to be able to build an APK and test our mixed reality app on our device. Let's do that and look at the scene inside our MetaQuest. Now, very importantly, before we can test the APK on our device, we have to set up our space first, if we haven't already. For that, we can simply go to the settings inside our headset, and then click on Physical Space, and then click on Setup, under Space Setup. Now take your time to thoroughly scan your room. The more accurate and detailed, the better. After scanning, you will have the option to correct your setup or continue to the outline other objects, such as your tables in the room. I recommend you to do that if any tables are available in your room, because it will give us a better experience later on when receiving the plain game objects from AR Foundation. After setting everything up, we are finally ready to launch our APK. Now, there is a whole lot that we can learn from this sample including some very neat UI examples. First of all, when rotating our controllers or hands, 
we have access to a wrist menu where we can toggle AR mode or configure our scene. We then get taken through a guide that shows us how AR Foundation is creating planes for us, where we can then place objects by simply touching the surface with either our hands or controllers. Again, feel free to just try it out yourself and see all the different settings in the menu, such as choosing which prefab to spawn, or you can also just delete all the objects we have placed before. One other very cool prefab that Unity provides us with is this new video player. As you can see, the Raycast is snapping to the handle of the video player and lets us move it around, which feels amazing. We also get this very neat pause and play button when hovering over the video. It is also a lot of fun to just play in VR mode and shoot the confetti cannon provided by Unity. Try it out and let me know what you think and if you will use this template yourself. Let's now go back to our Unity project and look at the sample scene in a little bit more detail. We have a simple environment and lighting. Then, let's look at the main components, which are the MR interaction setup and the UI game object containing the coaching UI, which are the tutorial screen we see at the beginning, which has a lazy follow script that follows our camera if there is no other transform assigned. We can also just assign our main camera manually. Then we have the hand menu setup, which tracks each hand and detects if the palm is facing upwards. We can also decide here if we would like to only detect one hand or either hand. Then the most exciting sample for me is the new spatial panel manipulator, which contains this very nice video player. The handle is a regular XR grab interactable and contains several affordance providers. Affordance is a big new feature released by Unity. If you are interested to learn more about it, there is a link in the description. In short, the Affordance system equips our interactables with audio and visual feedback to create even more immersive experiences. The last notable component on our video player handle is this XR interactable snap volume that lets us define a snap area with a collider. This is what snaps our Raycast to the handle. If we look further at the XR origin, we notice that it hasn't really changed compared to regular XR interaction toolkit samples, which is great. We can also see that we have the AR session here. For plane detection, the AR session controls the lifecycle and configuration options for an AR session and is located in the MR interaction setup game object. There is only one active session. If you have multiple AR session components, they all communicate to the same session and will conflict with each other. Lastly, we have a custom goal manager that manages the tutorial screens at the beginning and also a custom object spawner that lets us spawn objects by touching a plane. For that, I found this new palm game object that contains a contact spawn trigger that most likely works together with the object spawner to detect the palm touching a plane to spawn the prefabs. And that's it for today's video. If you'd like to see more of those videos, please let me know in the comments below. Until then, keep an eye out for more Meta Quest videos and please consider supporting me on Patreon or subscribing to this channel. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord community where we are happy to answer all your questions. See you in the next one.